It is time to imagine once again that you are a citizen of ancient Rome. Imagine that you are an older Roman, such as this woman in the image, who lived 500 years after the beginning of the Roman Empire, under Emperor Augustus Caesar. You come from a proud Roman family, able to trace your roots to the kings who ruled before the Roman Republic. You live with your family, children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, nieces, nephews, and slaves, in a large home in the heart of the city. As a wealthy patrician, you are well-educated. You know Rome's history. You know everything there is to know about Julius Caesar, Augustus Caesar, and the Roman emperors who came after them. Tonight, you are sitting on the veranda of your domus, as you do every night. Normally, you would enjoy the view of your beloved city watching the sun set over the beautiful buildings and crowded streets. On this evening, however, there are tears in your eyes. Normally, you would hear the pleasant conversations of your neighbors in the streets below, and you would hear your grandchildren playing in the gardens around your domus. Instead, tonight you hear frightening sounds that you hope never to hear again, sounds that strike terror and sadness in your heart. You hear the sounds of warfare. You know what it sounds and looks like when a city is invaded by a foreign army because you witness the Visigoth invasion when the Visigoth tribes, tribes invaded from Germany. You watched as the invading army stormed the city walls and streets, stealing everything they could carry and breaking or burning everything else. You also witnessed a frightful, fearsome enemy called the Huns, who were led by a general named Attila, invade from the east, roaring across Germany and invading Roman territories. The Huns were famous horsemen, and they left a trail of destruction everywhere they went. Eventually, Attila made it all the way to Italy, but fortunately for Rome, he and his armies did not reach Rome. To make matters worse, as Attila the Hun was invading Europe, countless people were forced to move away from their homes. They found themselves squeezed between Attila the Hun and the Roman Empire, and most of them decided that they would have better luck finding a new home in Roman territory rather than trying to defeat Attila and his hordes. One of these tribes, the Vandals, had been forced from the Germanic regions. The Vandals invaded parts of the Roman Empire in Gaul, Spain, and then North Africa. They conquered the city of Carthage, and then they turned attention to Rome itself. The Vandals crossed the Mediterranean from Africa and invaded Italy. The Vandals pushed their way deep into the heart of Italy. Thousands of them descended upon the city of Rome, and their only goal was to destroy it. Luckily, most of your family members had time to leave their homes before the Vandals' invasion. Some will go to the island of Sicily. They may not be safe there either because the Vandals seem to be everywhere in nearby Italy. Most of your family will head east, sailing across the sea to the city of Constantinople. There, you and your family hope to make a new start. As the Vandals move closer to your home, you wonder to yourself, where are the powerful Roman legions of old? Why are there no legionaries to protect us? Long gone are the proud Roman legions under the leadership of Julius Caesar. The sad fact is that you know exactly how this happened. You expected it for many years. So much has changed since the days of Augustus Caesar. The Pax Romana, Roman peace, brought 200 years of peace and prosperity throughout the empire, but it also changed the way Romans lived and governed their lands. Maintaining legionaries is expensive. It costs a lot to train, feed, and arm thousands of soldiers all over the vast Roman Empire. To save money, Roman emperors and generals hired mercenaries, soldiers who will fight for any country or group for money. And many of these soldiers were not even Roman citizens. Instead of relying on hordes of Roman legionaries, Rome had come to rely on a smaller amount of mercenaries, the very people they thought of as barbarians, to fight for Rome. When Attila the Hun and other invaders threatened the Roman provinces, these mercenaries were not willing to fight and die to protect Rome because they were not true Roman citizens. Sometimes you think maybe the emperors and senators have become just as bad as the mercenaries and the other people 
who have been called barbarians. Many seem so greedy and selfish, not thinking about what is best for Rome. For years, they have drained Rome's resources to pay for their games, their feasts, and their monuments to themselves. All the while, these leaders failed to prepare for the Roman invasions. This unfortunate time reminds you of a legend that you know well of an emperor named Nero. He was ruler of Rome several emperors after Augustus Caesar. Under Nero's rule, most of Rome was destroyed by what came to be remembered as the Great Fire of Rome. The fire started in the market near the Circus Maximus, but it quickly spread and destroyed most of the city. According to legend, Emperor Nero, a man who greatly favored the arts and music, fiddled while Rome burned. Some historians believe this means that Nero may have been singing and playing a lyre, a harp-shaped instrument, while Rome burned. Some even believe he started the fire himself. In your mind, this legend is a good symbol for what is happening right now with the Vandals. With the decline in Roman leadership, it's not too surprising to see the Vandals climbing the city's crumbling walls. For years, the barbarian hordes have been gathering in all directions, preparing for invasion. Instead of dealing with Rome's threats, the last several emperors of Rome have also fiddled while Rome burned, meaning they've ignored the real problems of Rome while continuing on with their normal activities, as if nothing were wrong. You think to yourself, what has happened to the citizens of Rome? The once mighty citizens of Rome seem weak and lazy now. They only want to watch gladiator games at the Colosseum and wait for the emperor's bakers to throw them a few loaves of bread. Children barely learn their history anymore. Rarely do children understand or care about the significant history of Rome and how it came to be so powerful. Therefore, they don't look forward to fighting for the greatness of Rome in battle as their ancestors did. Sometimes you think to yourself that maybe, just maybe, the invasion of the Vandals is for the best. Maybe it's time to tear down Rome and start all over again. Maybe a new, stronger Rome will arise from the ashes. <laughs>